had the Honda Odyssey, it would have been a perfect show for a car. Grimace Shake, 8 out of 10. Your door, sir. 8 out of 10. <laughs> Wait, it's like potatoes on the inside. Fuck no, don't the horses. No. just have to roll with it okay guys hello so guys i just thought of recording a quick video today you know just as i haven't uploaded in a while um it's been like eight days now um a lot of things have happened a lot of things have changed and i'm just gonna do another update on top of the on top of the the last video i did i know the last video i did i did a two-week update pretty much of just updating my last two weeks of that holiday which was two weeks ago two weeks of school have already passed now i didn't record i really didn't record any video or like vlog for that matter during that time it was just a lot of getting work done and then trying to get some work done whatever i can while i'm at school for the time being pretty much so so pretty much for today i would just give you guys you know a plan for the next two months and it'll be a little bit of an update as well you know just to know it will be a bit of a rep you know repetitive video from the last video so just bear with me so this is my plan for the next two remaining two months of 2024 as of recording this it is october the 29th 2024 of course um and yeah i'll just give you guys a quick rundown of how everything's going and just a general gist of my plan for the next two months um from october now to november to december and of course yeah i will record a few more for the end of 2024 if i can so just to clue you guys in on the last week uh from wednesday to sunday last week uh which was pretty much my second my last week of school super unproductive i was just scrolling through instagram a lot i missed three days in my deal liftoff checkoff uh sign in so pretty much for like day 26 27 28 there was nothing because uh, i didn't fill out anything um yeah my screen time on average during those four or so days five days was probably around like five to six hours on average so it was really bad and even still this week it's a tuesday now i still have a little bit of brain fog and a little bit i feel a little bit you know overstimulated from everything um so you know bear with me that included uh i also just have not been getting the, the best sleep uh recently and i'm just trying to pick it back up again uh you know go to bed strict at 11 30 
and then wake up at 6.30 and do what I need to do in the morning. So then everything else kind of flows and I have that momentum for the day and that, you know, that would carry on for the week, etc. So just bear with me right now, including that, by the way, um, I'm sorry, my camera is only like picking up 30 frames per second. For some reason, I've been trying to work out OBS again uh, and make sure it's at 60 FPS, but uh, we'll see if I record another video on OBS. Uh, hopefully, I'll have the 60 FPS thing fixed. Um, but for the time being, you guys will kind of have to see me in 30 FPS, like 720p uh, for the moment. Uh, yeah, it's just, uh, yeah, try to set it up, but uh, I'll make sure that uh, hopefully next time we uh, have smooth 60 FPS. So yeah, guys, as I kind of mentioned before, this is it. Um, two weeks of, you know, term four was over. Now, this is pretty much it. This is the end of school. I have no more pretty much for the rest of my life. I don't plan, I don't intend to uh, go to university or any of that sorts. Um, I just want to pass school get out and then just work on my business on the side until I can make it happen. And then, you know, 1920, I really want to, you know, make big changes in my life, you know, move out, you know, have a place to my own, you know, just do big things with my life. Uh, but that is just a general gist of what is to come and what I plan to achieve for the next one to two years, you know, being 18 now until I'm 19 and 20 and hopefully in my 20s, I really, be able, I really hope to be able to bring, you know, everything up for my life, but also for my career, of course, my channel, um, and, you know, also just produce more, more, more entertaining content for you guys, more informative content, more educational content for you guys. I know I'm always in my room all the time, and uh, that's pretty much been the same for the past 60, 70 videos, however many videos I've recorded since, you know, July 2023. So I really, really do want to switch it up. Um, even though I've had a lot of growth the past year, I just want to make sure that, um, you know, as I'm out of school, I don't make any excuses for myself and I do the right thing um, so that I can really make this work and make this happen because there's no other career choice for me. It's just this. And if I don't make this work, then pretty much, pretty much everything falls apart. I've kind of burned the boats a little bit, so... So that's it. That's the end of school. Uh, there's pretty much only exams left, um, which I have like one exam. Uh, I dropped like two other subjects uh, just so, so just so then it's easier, but also so I can just pass. I won't be able to get an ATAR though. In terms of my current read, uh, I was about to say I don't have a current read, but actually yesterday I picked up a read. Uh, I exported it to my Remarkable, so... If I can just turn this on really quickly and by the way guys update on the remarkable it's been fucking amazing I cannot like seriously it's just been some it's just been a tool that I just don't want to get rid of um, but pretty much what I'm reading now is uh, if you can see there on the screen if you guys can see there on the screen I have I am reading the lean startup by Eric Rees, if I said his name right. That's pretty much it. That's my current read. Um, as my current read, I'm reading on the Remarkable now. I don't have any physical books left to look at, so that's what I'm gonna use pretty much moving forward. Uh, I got plenty of eBooks and PDFs uh, on my computer, so all I have to do is just go on the app and just export it over there and uh, yeah, just read off the Remarkable, um, which is pretty sick. So, uh, in terms of my budget, there's no changes for the month. Uh, I just updated it like 20 minutes ago uh, with some miscellaneous like transfer fees and, and all this. So, nothing's really happened. Next month, though, there will probably be some purchases for, you know, stuff like um, a new charger. Unfortunately, my charger right now is failing. This fucking laptop is a old grandpa it's i'm pretty sure the model is like 10 years old um but that's not failing the charger is failing because all the time when i you know unpacked it for school and then 
took it to school and then took it back and unraveled it uh it, it kind of damaged the cord um on the yeah kind of like on the end so next thing is my nso uh so my copywriting nso niche research so nso stands for niche service offer my progress on that is thank god i've finished the offer in full detail i have it fully written out you know other aspects as well like the three month minimum um you know on the contract uh when they sign they will be a client with me for a three month minimum and then after that it's a rolling month by month so you know just taking notes of stuff like that i also finished uh, a another worksheet that was left at the end if i can pop the video up real quick of the video um, that I'm citing from, uh, what I do is pretty much, the NSO is pretty much just a collage of worksheets from Iman's recent videos on his extended channel. Um, all the plug and plays and all the opt-ins that you'd have to do to get the resources and the worksheets, that's pretty much what I used. I just plopped that into the a document, a Word document, and then I just did them one by one. Unfortunately, it's been taking me months and months to do that. Now it is finally fucking finished. All I have to do now is just grasp a few more things. Um, you know, work with my budget to see how that would look in terms of agency costs, startup costs, software costs. And then pretty much it's just setting up and then doing the outreach. Doing what I need to do, you know. You know, doing what I need to do, whether it's practice, copywriting, etc., understanding email sequences, whatever it is, whatever needs to be done on a daily basis for the agency moving forward. But yeah, pretty much, pretty much to update, uh, the NSO is done, finally, um, and yeah, um, hopefully soon, before the end of 2024, I'll be off to the races and uh, start doing what I need to do. Uh, to land my first client and start getting experience in copywriting So there's that the next thing is I've pretty much integrated The remarkable paper pro I've pretty much integrated everything I need to integrate You know to pretty much have all the paperwork or whatever it is on this Paper tablet plans for 2024 is just uh, I wrote recently uh, while I was reading my last book uh, you Can Do It by Paul Hanna. Um, just pretty much said to set a goal by the end of the year. And I was like, okay, I'm just going to add it down. $1,000 online by the end of 2024. If I can do that, yeah, I will probably keep the remarkable. Um, the exception to that is if I can just calculate what costs I have by the end of the year for my agency to keep running for, you know, the next six months, 12 months, um, and just... Make sure that I'm stable. Um, that's all that matters. Then I will keep this remarkable. Um, but if not, and I have to refund it, you know, sooner or later, it is what it is. I enjoyed it to the best of my experience, um, and for as long as I could have. Um, but yeah, I'll refund it and then just reimburse uh, the money into whatever needs to be put, you know, better news to. But yeah, goal for the end of 2024 is a thousand dollars online. Next thing is an end of year marathon. I'm not sure if I will be able to record that or honestly even complete one. Uh, I have been running. I am currently on like a 30, 31, 32 week streak um, of like either like 30 minutes of just jogging or five kilometers. And it's pretty much stayed the same as it was nine months ago, 10 months ago. So honestly, I'm not too sure that I will even be able to complete you know 42 kilometers in however long it takes you know five six probably more than that um just because so pretty much i'm just not too confident about the marathon i will still try and you know attempt it but if worse comes to worse i will just make that as a goal for next year um next thing is of course get my copywriting agency up and running doing outreach um and yeah, I've been pushing that for a couple months now. So what I want to do is just make sure it's running by the end of by by next year and make sure that I'm clear on what I need to do and I'm not avoiding the work. I, you know, entrepreneurship is genuinely a learning process 
of not just only how to learn business, but also learning about yourself and the kind of traps you put yourself in. And one of the traps I put myself in that I'm very well aware of is the fact that I overthink a lot. I kind of overthink things and, you know, I've just been getting reminders here and there that I probably just need to pick the pace up and just do the work and stop trying to avoid failure and mistakes when that is part of the process and that I can't avoid that. I can't avoid failure. I can't avoid mistakes unless I just get in there, I do it and I learn from my mistakes and then I move on and I, you know, get better from that. Next thing is I want to potentially start a YouTube series called Digital Launchpad Journey. So my DL journey. Um, I kind of already do that with my vlogs, but it kind of gets a little mixed up. So I'm thinking doing a clear series on, you know, my journey through business while I am in Digital Launchpad or pretty much just my business journey overall and just separate that from, you know, the personal vlog stuff um, and just doing that. The next thing is also I want to do a two reviews. I want to do two reviews by the end of the year. Um, first one is a Remarkable Paper Pro review. So a review of uh, my Remarkable Paper Pro. Um, just while I'm using it, pretty much it's been like two or three weeks since I've used it. Um, but I feel like I've, I've pretty much used it mostly enough that I am, you know, I'm qualified to, you know, do a, a, a review. And yeah, I just want to drop a quick review um, on it, um, show my support and my love for it. Uh, I'd gladly be able to do that. The second one is a update DL review, pretty much uh, just a update of, of all the updates and what's happened in Digital Launchpad for the people who aren't in Digital Launchpad or maybe just want some news on it. Uh, I've mentioned um, in the past few videos about how how pretty much you know I you know there's a digital liftoff challenge that's an accountability challenge we got a new program you know I'm doing out of the deal that's a new program we got another one we got web design fast track uh, which is a new program that just came out like two weeks ago one week ago so I want to do videos on that and just pretty much just update and make a better review from the last one. I know the last one was like 46 minutes. I really want to cut that down, make it like 10, 20 minutes and make sure that it's consumable and it, uh, you know, it makes another hit on my channel um, for the channel. And, and that's pretty much the goal. And yeah, other than that, learning progress. As I said, uh, I have finished Digital Don. Uh, that is like a lifestyle design program in Digital Launchpad. I am now on Art of the Deal, which is for appointment setting. I may need that for a few opportunities uh, by the end of the year, or if not, just to get another skill uh, and skill stack and just, you know, put another skill in my belt. Um, and yeah, next thing, of course, is a web design fast track that is on web design. I don't know, maybe I want to design a website. You know, it's really just learning. It's, it's a passive thing. So, you know, I pay for digital launchpad. I might as well learn from the programs that they drop every month or few months so yeah and of course we got another juicy program coming out uh, next month in November uh, which I would just kind of keep on hold for now um, yeah the goal is pretty much to complete every program um, such as other ones is also like the perfect fit which is on tailoring and you know fashion and another one would be digital uh, sorry dopamine detox I spoke about doing a dopamine detox, but this is a little bit different. This is a program uh, about just like detoxing your body, your environment, and making sure you're, you're, you're pretty much, it's pretty much like holistic health. So then you are just in tip top shape and you can focus. You don't have any brain fog and you have good nutrition. You got good focus and you're not being harmed by, you know, the various things we have around in our environment, like our electronics, our home, um, food. A range of things uh, I don't want to get into it too much um, but it's pretty much just holistic health that is pretty much it uh, I'm so sorry this video has been so long uh, I will try and cut this down as much as I can but that's pretty much it that is what's happened the past two weeks so this is another two week update and that is my general plans for the next remaining two months uh, from October to December um, 
so by the end of 2024 so that I can set myself up well for 2025 and get the ball rolling you know really make some big strides in my life um, as I did this year no doubt but you know I want to really kick it up to fifth gear sixth gear by next year so guys I hope you have enjoyed this video if you have stuck around to this I cannot I cannot thank you guys enough I cannot be grateful for you guys enough appreciate you being here and uh, I hope you have enjoyed the video and I will see you in the next one